Hi everyone, this is Carrie from SakuraOtaku.com. Today I am going to unbox the Yume Twins Kawaii box through Tokyo Treat. It's one of their newer boxes. It just released a couple of months ago and it's full of really cute kawaii items from Japan with the same quality that you would expect since it's from Tokyo Treat. The box is extremely adorable with their kawaii artwork. All their social media and stuff. I actually opened this box just a second ago because my camera was supposed to be recording, but it wasn't. So let's try this again, shall we? And as you can see, the artwork inside the box, it's full of cuteness with their little mascot girls. And their booklet this month was New Lifestyle Theme. Not really sure what that means in terms of kawaii items, but we will find out. Some of the trends, the item lineup, some more of the items, the photo contest they have going on, the Yume Prize, which is kind of like their lucky treat where you can win the bigger box if you're subscribed. And a um, few use social media, you can hashtag you may twins and you may get featured in their book. So let's see what kind of cuteness we have this month. Alrighty. First up is the Doramon minifigure. So it looks like a blind box featuring Doramon. I'm actually, I know this is an older anime, but I've never actually seen it. I think he's supposed to be a cat <laughs> or something like that. So I'm not really a fan of this, so I'm not going to open it right now. It's made by Remint, so um, it's probably a pretty good quality. Remint makes a lot of good stuff in terms of blind boxes and other stuff like that. So I'm going to hold off on this and might give it away or something like that since it's not really my cup of tea. Next up we have a Shinada palm sized plushie and it's a cat with little blue eyes, no feet, but the cute little tail. Looks like you can, there was a few different variations, kind of look like um, dongos. It's really cute, it's kind of soft and squishy so um, yeah. It seems like they send a Shinada plush in every box. Um, I don't think they did in the first month, but they did every month since then, so it's pretty popular in Japan. And we have another Shinada plush. This one is a fruit-colored baby nature plushie. Not quite sure what that means, but this one's green. Um, very, very green. The booklet shows that there was either orange, pink, or blue as other variants, and I guess it's a sheep. <laughs> it doesn't really say, but it's really soft and it's really cute and cuddly. So that'll go with my little pig that I got last month through them. So a little plushy collection is growing. <laughs> so Neko Atsume Cup. It's featuring a lot of the different um, Neko Atsume kitties through the phone app. If you're not familiar with it, um, it's a game that you pretty much put out different cat foods and treats and toys and you attract these cute little kitties to your yard. And there's rare cats and regular cats, so um, Tubbs, he eats all the food, he's a rare cat, and um, you've got Pumpkin and Peaches and probably Gabriel, and yeah, I play the game way too much, so. This is fun. It's not very big, but it's durable. It feels pretty thick and sturdy, so I'm really excited for this one. It's super adorable. And inside of the cup, they had stashed some... Oh, I'm losing my box. Book. They had some Kit Kats. And it looks like... It was a mystery Tokyo treat item. So it was a mystery snack from 
past Tokyo Treat Boxes. So this is kind of cool that they've added a candy. Normally the Yume Twins boxes don't come with candy, so... Um, if I had to guess from experience, this is probably the Raspberry Kit Kat, which are pretty good. If it's not raspberry, then it's strawberry, which is even better, but I'm pretty sure this is raspberry. And I think they were from the May um, Tokyo Treat Box, so... Kit Kats are A-OK -okay in my book, so I'm looking forward to that as a nice surprise. Next we have Little Twin Stars. It is oil blotting sheets. So it's a cosmetic item um, that are for blotting the oil off of your face and stuff. And I've actually never seen the function with cutesy stuff like this, <clears throat> especially cosmetic wise. So maybe they're trying to swing into something a little um, different. And I guess this would fit in the lifestyle theme since you could put this in your purse and take it with you and, I don't know, blot oil off of your face as you go. I actually remember stuff like this in middle school. I don't remember what brand it was, but we basically ran around blotting oil off our nose all day long because it was popular and cool. So this is kind of neat to have. And what do we have? More little twin stars. These are post-its. So doesn't look like you get a whole lot. It's a very thin um, package, but it looks like you get three different sizes. So you get the big one and then the two smaller ones. So there's three different designs with the little twin stars on there from Sanrio. It's really cute. I don't think I'll use them, but it's definitely very kawaii. Next we have, um, oh, it's heavy. These are Sanrio bath bombs. Um, it looks like they come in the shape of some of their best-selling characters, so it's kind of a mystery blind bag on which one we'll get. From the package, it looks like it could be Hello Kitty or My Melody, Pom Pom Protein, or Stupid Stupid Gudetama. <laughs> And knowing my luck, it'll be Gudetama, and I actually cannot stand Gudetama, so let's hope it's Pom Pom Purin, or at least My Melody or something. Something that, that's not Gudetama. I don't know much about bath bombs, if it has a scent, or what color it'll be, but I'll probably actually use this one. trying to cheat and figure it out based on the shape. It's probably Gudetama. It's probably freaking Gudetama. <laughs> and last but not least, this is Peko-chan mini towel. Um, out of the three boxes I've ordered from Yume Twins, this is the third box that's had a mini towel. So I don't really know what to do with it um, because they're actually pretty small. They're usually really cute though, but I don't know how functional such a small towel is. So as you can see it's about, this one's a little bit bigger, it's about the size of a regular washcloth. The first one that I got was very very tiny. Um, it was kind of Sailor Moon-ish, but this is a pretty good quality. Um, different types of stitching. It's not too thick, not too thin. It's got a cute embroidered Peko Chan on there. I don't really know much about Peko Chan. I just know that she's on packaging for like chocolates and stuff like that. So, so there you have it. This was the September Yume Twins Kawaii box with the new lifestyle theme. You can order from youmaytwins.com, and I believe it's around $30 a month for this box. It only has one size, and um, I'll have a link in the comments to my site with the full review from this box, and if you could check that out and subscribe to the channel, I will have more subscription box reviews coming soon. I don't have anything coming in the mail right now, but I always got stuff coming up, so check back soon. Thanks.